Hello YouTube, this is Amir, welcome to my YouTube channel and today in this video I'm going to be telling you about my old Babyliss Pro detailer and the story of it and this new detailer I got a few days ago and we're going to open it up together and have a look at it. This one, I've had it for years and it was working really good, pretty much doing everything, line up designs, everything, box, but recently I dropped it accidentally and I uh, broke the blade, I had to order new blades for it, but it's not working as it should be. So I decided to buy a new clipper, new detailer, I mean. Um, this one looks really good, and I searched about it, and a few barbers recommended it to me as well. So today we're going to be comparing them to each other, and I'm going to be telling you which one is sharper and which one is worth it, about the prices, about the sizes, about the how sharp the blades are. Let's not waste time. So here we got the plugs, we got the charger, and I think this is going to be the stand for it, yeah? This is the stand for the charger, so you can hold the clicker on your section, and the guards, I think number one, two, three, yeah? And these are a few more plugs, and finally, the beautiful detailer. And good material. Seems strong, you know. It's not as loud as Babyliss Pro, but seems like it can do a good job. And compared to Babyliss Pro, it's a bit smaller. And I think Babyliss Pro is louder. Yes. And they weight pretty much similar. Uh, this one is a bit thinner, thicker, and the blades... Mm, the size of the blades, I think they are the same. Nothing different about the blades. But I think this one is sharper. Let's cut her with them and we see which one is better now.
So to be honest, it is a really good clipper. I'm happy with it, but it's not as strong as the Babyliss Pro one. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like it and subscribe my channel. Adios.